Let's talk about the quickest way to color correct your images in any situation. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download this photo, check the links in the description. So first of all, it's really simple. Create a curves adjustment layer. Click on the circle adjustment layer icon and choose curves. Then there you get three eyedropper tools, right? Select the middle one, not one with the white drop, not one with the black one. Select the gray one and click on anything which should have been gray in real life. While clicking the photo, click on anything which should have been gray. So as you can see, we have a gray road. So obviously we'll cl click here. We'll try clicking here and there and boom. It's just, it solves the problem. Try clicking on different areas and yep, it solves the problem. Have a look before, after it takes away all those greens and really color corrects your photo. Now you can go ahead and select the white level and the black level just like this and, and you can play with that. But here's the problem. What if you have an image which does not have an area which should have been gray in real life? Or what if you have a complex image where you cannot find out that particular area? Here's what you need to do. You need to find out the area which is closest to gray. You need to use Photoshop algorithms, maths and tricks to find out an area which is closest to gray and click on that. And by the way, if you're wondering, how does clicking on gray color correct my images automatically? Here's what Photoshop sees it like. So if you say Photoshop, okay, this should be gray. Okay, this area should be gray. And when you click on that area, Photoshop looks at that area and Photoshop sees that it's not perfectly gray. It has a green tint to it. So what Photoshop will do, it will pull down the greens or add the opposite color, which is magenta to neutralize that gray. And that as a result will neutralize the whole image. That's how that works. Now, if you cannot find a gray area in your photo, you need to find out an area which is closest to gray. And here's how to do it. It's really simple. Create a solid color adjustment layer and just click on the adjustment layer icon and create a solid color adjustment layer or create any layer and fill it with 50% gray. Hex code of 50% gray is 808080 or R, G and B, all of them at 128. Okay. You can also create a new layer and just fill it with 50% gray. And there's another way to do it. Let me just show you the another way. So control shift N, command shift N. If you're using a Mac, it opens up the new layer dialog box and you can choose mode to overlay and fill with overlay neutral color, 50% gray, click OK, and then change the blend mode to normal. Or another way to do it is just close it, create a new layer and press shift backspace. Okay. Shift delete if you're using a Mac, shift backspace, and then choose 50% gray and fill it up. So three ways of doing the exact same thing. Now what you need to do, change the blend mode to difference. Now, how does that help? Let me show you how does that help. Now, if you want to know more about the blend mode difference in, in and outs of blend mode difference and how to use that in day-to-day -day life, check out the video right here. But here's what's important. If I create a new layer and say, paint it with green, okay? Paint it with green, create another layer, also paint it with green, just like that. Okay. So we have two layers and change the blend mode of this one to difference. Look, this turns black. Why? because this resulting color is the difference of this color and this color. And the difference of green and green is what? Black, as simple as that. Now, if you look at this, so if you look at green, so what is the RGB of green? Zero to 55, zero. And if you subtract green from it, which is zero to 55, zero, the answer would be zero minus zero. 255 minus 255 and 0 minus 0. So the result would be 0, 0, 0, which is black, right? So cancel that and delete that. Delete both of that and turn on this. So this is difference. So the area which is the darkest, right? Listen to this carefully. The area which is the darkest is closest to gray. Isn't that interesting? How is it closest to gray? Any area which is completely black 
will be exactly 50% gray as the difference between both of them will yield black. So any area which is dark relatively is closer to gray because this layer is gray, right? Any area here which is dark is close to gray. Again, why? Because the difference between the same color is what? Black. Now, we know that this area is a little darker, this area is a little darker, and you can use different tricks to find out the darkest areas. You can choose threshold, you can just go ahead and choose threshold and just figure out the darkest area. So this is the darkest area, just, okay, there we go. We know this is the darkest area. Then create a new layer and maybe take a brush and just indicate it with green or anything. You can also mark it using the eyedropper using this tool, color sampler tool. You can also mark it, point it just like that. But I'm going to choose the brush and just mark this area out. Okay. That works for me. You can choose any method you want, but the concept should be clear with you. The difference between the same color is what? Black. Okay, so now you can go ahead and delete the threshold. You don't need it. You, you can also go ahead and delete the gray layer. Now what you need to do, create a curves adjustment layer. Okay, and choose the middle eyedropper tool and try clicking on these areas. And just different areas inside of that marked area until you get the result you're looking for. And there you go. If your image doesn't have that gray area, Use that technique. Find the areas which are closer to gray. How? By using the concept of difference. Create a gray layer, change the blend mode to difference, and the darker areas will be the closest to gray because the difference between the same colors is what? Black. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also, do not forget to delete this layer. <laughs> Just, we just did it. Do not forget to delete it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Also, I forgot to say, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and keep creating.